Hey, what's happening out there, guys? Carla CNL Small Engine Repair. Yep, it's a cold one this morning, fellas. <laughs> uh, but we're working on a gravely I've added in here forever. Finally got, now I don't know how this video is going to turn out because I cracked my screen. And it looks to me like it's right over the camera, so it might be all jacked up. I don't know yet. But anyway, the biggest part of this is I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to show you how I bleed these hydraulic systems. Uh, uh, on these on these zero turns and stuff like that it makes it a little easier for everybody to uh to do and uh, man this is just so simple a way to do it a guy showed me this years and years ago when these things first come out so i'm gonna pass it on guys check this out hey okay, guys you see the funnel there now when we started what i do is i put that funnel in now the funnel's got to fit down in there pretty tight too you know what i mean um you can see down in here see how it fits the hole tight you're going to get a little bit of leakage but not too bad what I do is I fill this whole system up after it's drained all the way to the top of the, um, well, about a quarter to a half inch below the top of the funnel. Now what this is going to do, this is going to give you your reservoir to where it's just going to keep sucking it in there. See how frothy that is on top? Now let me show you something. I've done this a couple times already, but I wanted to show you right real quick. Let me show you something. See how it sucks back right down in there? Let that run a little bit. Work these, work these handles. Now watch this. See that foam come back to the top? Now watch it. I've, like I said, I've already done this two or three times. Usually there's a big old air bubble comes out of there. Okay, well this time there's not going to be apparently. So that means I have bled this system out. Now, I know some of you is going to be saying, now what do you do now that you've overfilled it? Well, you're getting ready to make a little bit of a mess. Um, but what you can do is you can pull that up out of the right real quick and just stick your finger on it. Get some of that out of there because, you know, there is too much in there. But if you let this thing set long enough and um, keep working these controls, I bet you we could get another burp out of that thing. But when I started, guys, this... The, the oil level was about a quarter of an inch from the top of this um, <laughs> funnel. So if you dropped it down to where it is, about right there where it is now, um, I probably put too much in it. It would have just pulled it all down through there, and I wouldn't have made a mess. I was really expecting this system to take more. I put, uh, what, two quarts in it? Yeah, right at two quarts. Put two quarts in it with a new filter, but I did fill the filter up first. So, anyway, guys, I just wanted to pass this little trick. It's a little trick that you can do when you're refilling these. You know, I see guys all the time, they'll take and they'll um, they'll put some in there and then they'll run it. They'll put some in there and they'll run it. Well, what happens a lot of times, if you don't put enough in there, you're just adding more air to the system. And then it takes you longer to bleed the system. This way, there's always enough fluid, enough oil, hydraulic fluid, whatever, to... Um, keep keep it see it's actually settling some now and what i'm going to do is i'm going to let this set until all that frothiness comes out of the top let's just try it one more time i, I, I bet you there's another burp in this thing see how it sucks it down in there that level should there it was you see it i knew there's another burp in there but that's what it's going to do now it's burp like that all the way from the top when it was full all the way down to where you see now and there couldn't be I mean, you can look there's not much left there but now some of that does have to come up out of there you can't leave all that in there actually i've got a thing in there i can suck some of that out of there but this is the fastest way and the easiest way i believe to change your hydraulic fluid once you drain it out there's the filter um the other filter that come off there this thing was bone dry when i started but right there's the filter yeah right there uh rotary part number nine four six four we are using amsoil sae 2050 100 synthetic in it 
putting the good stuff. I'm not a big Amsoil fan, but it, it does the job. It's it, it's good stuff, guys. But anyway, hey, I ain't going to take a whole lot of your time. We're covered up here today anyway. Um, I might make another video because on that errands you see sitting over there, um, we've got to put a axle seal in it. Um, I may go ahead and show that too, but uh, I'm going to button this gravely up right real quick. I need to get this thing out of here today, guys. Uh, we'll see you in a bit. Hey, okay, guys. I was going to show you this um, axle uh, seal. You can actually see it right there. Had it jacked up, but I can't get the tire off. So I sprayed it down some deep creep. It's getting late anyway. I was looking at the clock. It's getting late anyway. So um, what I done was I just went ahead and put my puller on there, put a lot of tension on it, and we're just going to let it set um, till in the morning. So I guess I'll bring you the uh, axle seal replacement there tomorrow. But I can see where I cracked my screen a little bit of shadow. If y'all can, and especially in the light, it's really bad. Like, good God, see that? It's really bad. I don't know if y'all can, how bad you're seeing that or not, but it's bad. But anyway, um, yeah, it's real bad. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to uh, show you that um, on that gravely and stuff like that, how to do that. Gosh, that light is terrible. Sorry, guys. For, I've had a phone since 1996, 98. I know of 98. And this is the first screen I have ever cracked. And I was just like, man, you got to be kidding. But anyway, I guess it happens, guys. But anyway, hey, listen, um, so uh, tomorrow I'll come back and be with y'all again tomorrow and show you the uh, the seal, replacing the axle seal, uh, as far as I know. Uh, that's the plan anyway, God willing and all that. But uh, like I close all my videos out, no matter what you do, do it for the glory of God. It's not worth doing. Till next time, CNL's out.